Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel here at Your Path for Adult Learners, where we provide 24-7 online GED and high set preparation courses for adults that are seeking to earn their high school credential. To learn more about our program, you can visit our website at www.yourpathforadultlearners.com. So on today's Focus on the Test mini lesson, I will be reviewing a question that will resemble what you'll see on your actual test. So let us get started. Here's what a test item may look like. What conclusion can be made about the U.S. population growth rate between the years 1953 through 2009? And here you have your five options. You have option one, the growth rate reached its highest peak in 1979. Two, the growth rate tapered off in 2007. Three, the growth rate reached its highest peak in 1957. Four, the growth rate lowest was between 1973 and 1975. And five, the growth rate dropped again in 1969. Need your high school diploma? Your Path for Adult Learners offers 24-7 online GED and high step preparation courses for adults that are seeking to earn their high school credential. Learn more about our program at yourpathforadultlearners.com. So now before you attempt to answer this question, the first thing that you want to do, as I've mentioned in previous videos, is to make sure that you review your chart. So you want to familiarize yourself with your chart before you attempt to answer your question. So we can start by reading our title, which is in the center of our chart, and it reads U.S. Population Growth Rate. So our title tells us what this chart or the information that this chart is displaying, okay, and the information that we're going to get from this chart. When you look at the very bottom of the chart, you also see a range of years. Okay, so looking at the left of the chart, we see 1953. And so this chart actually begins with the year 1953 and runs throughout until you get to 2009, which is on the right side of the chart. You also have some information on the left side of your chart. And here you have percentage change along with a range of numbers. So your percentage change in terms of how this graph would fluctuate on the chart, starts from 0 0.8 onward to 2.0, okay? And so now that you have familiarized yourself with your chart, you now want to revisit your question, okay? And so here you have what conclusion can be made about the U.S. population growth rate between the years 1953 through 2009. And we can underline the word conclusion because this lets us know that we're going to draw a conclusion about this chart as it pertains to the U.S. population growth rate between the years 1953 through 2009. So when you attempt to answer this question, you want to take this entire chart into consideration because these are the years in which you're actually going to um, refer to in terms of your information or answering your question. So now let's look at our options again, now that we have revisited our question. So when we look at option number one, we have the growth rate reached its highest peak in 1979. So now the next thing we're going to do is to find 1979 on the chart, which is located here. Okay, now that we have located 1979 on the chart, we want to draw a line from the year to our graph. Okay. And so when we do that, and I'm going to place a dot here, we see that in 1979, it did not reach a peak. The graph did not reach a peak. Okay, because the peak actually occurred, okay, right here. And when we draw a line from the actual peak 
downward to the year. Okay, we see that the peak actually occurred between 1979 and 1981. However, it did not occur um, in 1979. And so in terms of option number one being an option in which we can draw a valid conclusion, we know that it is not. And so we're going to eliminate option number one. So now let's look at option number two. We have the growth rate tapered off in 2007. So we're going to identify 2007 on the chart. And then we're going to draw a line from 2007 to our graph. I'm also going to place a dot here. And so when we draw a line from 2007 to our graph, we see that the graph actually did not taper off in 2007. The graph actually starts to taper off right here, so somewhere after 2009. So in terms of option number two being a valid choice to draw a conclusion, we know that it is not, and so we're going to eliminate option number two. So now let's look at option number three. We have the growth rate reached its highest peak in 1957. So we're going to find 1957 on the chart, which is located here. And now we're going to draw a line from 1957 to our graph. And when we do so, we see that it lands here, which is at the peak. And when we look at our graph, okay, we see that this is definitely the highest peak on the uh, chart. Okay, and so in terms of option number three being an option in which we can draw a valid conclusion, we know that it is, and so I'm going to place a dot right here for now so that we can actually look at options four and five as well. So now let's look at option number four. The growth rate lowest was between 1973 and 1975. So when we locate this range on the chart, 1973 and 1975, which is located here on the chart, and then we draw a line from this range to the lowest point on, or one of the low points rather on the chart, we see that it lands here. However, in terms of the lowest, which is a key term, so let's just underline this word here, it says lowest. We know that according to looking at the information, according to the chart, and as we look at the information on the chart, how the graph actually fluctuates, we see that the lowest point is actually right here on the chart. So now the lowest point actually occurs within the range of 1983 and 1985. So somewhere around 1984. So in terms of option number four being a valid option to draw our conclusion, we know that it is not. And so we're going to eliminate option number four. When we look at option number five, we have the growth rate dropped again in 1969. So when we locate 1969 on the chart, which is right here, okay, and we draw our line from 1969 to the graph. Okay. We see that it is located right here. 
So when we look at this chart, okay, we can see that the graft actually begins to rise in 1969, okay? It is not dropping, but it's rising, okay? It actually drops in 1963 and continues dropping until it hits 1969, and then at 1969, it rises, okay? And so in terms of option number five being a valid choice to draw our conclusion, we know that it is not, and so we're going to eliminate option number five. So now in terms of answering our question, what conclusion can be made about the U.S. population growth rate between the years 1953 through 2009? We know that option number three is the correct choice which states the growth rate reached its highest peak in 1957. And according to the chart, okay, this information is correct. And so this is a valid conclusion that we can draw about our chart or about our graphs, okay? So thank you for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and watch out for more videos to come your way. Remember you can learn more about our 24-7 online GED and high set preparation courses by visiting our website at www.yourpathforadultlearners.com.